Hey friends, I'm back with a new lesson. Well, today's lesson is about the passive voice for imperative sentences like this. Let the work be done. I'm sure you've heard similar structures and you may be wondering uh, where do we get the past participle with be and 10 other questions. Okay. First, let's understand what are imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are sentences that are commands, instructions, orders or requests. Okay. So, supposing a student is very naughty in class and uh, disobeys the teacher continuously, she tells him, get out of the class. She does not say, you get out. She says, get out. So, the subject, you, is hidden where you do not use it. Okay. So, you just say, get out of the class. That is a command. It's an order that the child has to follow. Okay, so remember imperative sentences do not have a subject. Generally, they are commands, orders, instructions and uh, well when you use, when you say things like please, okay, they could be polite request or request basically. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to put an active imperative sentence into the passive voice okay so it's very simple actually very simple you take let okay then you have the object in the sentence you have be and you have a past participle verb okay so if you see the sentence let the work be done you have let the work is the object you have bear okay and this is the verb in the past participle I'm just putting PP or a verb in the third form okay so this is how it is let the work be done okay now in my first sentence if I tell you keep it there look for the object in the sentence now what is an object an object is a thing on which action is done okay so if you see it keep what if you ask the question what you will get the object keep it there okay so all I'm going to do is convert it into a passive voice using this so you have let the object it you have be the third form or the past participle of keep is kept there okay so don't assume there to be an object just because it is at the end of the sentence whenever you're confused ask the question what keep what keep it whatever the object okay is keep it there let it be kept there I have just followed this pattern let object is it it could be anything it could be a thing b okay and you have a verb in the past participle this is your verb you put it in the third form and you have let it be kept there okay or sometimes you may say let the window be opened so that is a passive imperative sentence okay let's take a look at the next sentence take it home now do not assume home to be the object and write let home be taken no take what take what take the parcel home take it home so don't assume home to be the object just because it is at the end of the sentence when you're confused ask the question take what you have an answer take it okay it's not take home it's take it home take that thing home take the parcel home so follow the same thing let it B, okay take becomes taken the past participle and you have home I repeat again home is not the object so just place it as it is in the end of the sentence let it be taken home it is the object okay let's take a look at one more sentence please help me now this is a request okay it's an imperative sentence it's a request because I have put the word please now of course in passive voice you're not going to use please all you're going to do is 
ask the object help who help who who's the object me so let me be helped okay so the action is done on me let me be helped i have followed the same sequence let with the object me the action is done on me be with the verb in the past participle be helped okay now let's take a look at negatives do not touch it you have the same thing only in a negative you will write not after the object like this do not touch what ask the question what do not touch it so you have let the object is it okay after the object you use the negative let it not be touched the third form of the verb the past participle is touched okay so let it not be touched fine another negative do not beat the dog do not beat what who the person or thing the action is done upon becomes the object ask the question here you have the dog okay do not beat the dog the same sequence let the object is the dog because the action is done on him let the dog now add not here after the object and the third form of the verb is beaten let the dog not be beaten leave him alone let the dog or let him not be beaten okay well another sentence and the last one let me do it now here it is already in let you instead of saying you let me do it you say let me do it okay so you have do what i'm the doer so i'm the subject let me do what do it do the work for you so here you continue using let only here you will have a subject that will become the object like this let it be so you have let object be with the verb in the third form okay only here because you have a subject you want to say let it be done by me you have it by me and this becomes your passive sentence okay friends so remember it's very simple imperative sentences are commands requests orders instructions they do not have a subject all you need to do is put let with an object followed by the object b and verb in the third form in case of negatives you have let plus the object with not followed by not b with a verb in the past participle okay in the last case let is already there there is a subject and that's okay all you need to do is follow the same thing let the object be done who's the doer me so by me okay so even if it starts with let you continue with the passive starting with let and follow the same trend okay friends this is how you convert an imperative active voice these are all your active sentences into passive just follow the simple sequence and there you will have your answer okay friends i hope you understood this clearly i have a small test for you do take it by going on to learnx dot in do let me know your scores put down all your comments and queries i'll be back soon with a new lesson till then take care and bye